What error could have I made with myself publishing that cost me $830 in December? Well, in this video, I'm going to run through what that mistake was because I want to help you avoid the same mistake that I made. So let's get into the video now. Hello, my name is Romney and thank you very much for joining my YouTube channel. Now in December, I made a very costly mistake and an error that was $830. So I want to be able to help you to avoid making the same mistake that I did. And it's something that could have easily been avoided. However, I ticked the wrong box. And therefore, that uh, error cost me dearly. So let's go through what that mistake was. And if, you, if those of you that are self-publishing are familiar with Ingram Spark, then you'll be very familiar with what um, the mistake is that I made. So when you self-publish, you have a few different options. You can choose a number of different platforms to publish from, like Amazon KDP or Ingram Spark. There are others like Draft and Digital and also Lulu. However, I decided uh, with a particular book to also put that onto Ingram Spark. And I'm an advocate for Ingram Spark. I think they're a great place to also distribute your book globally, along with Amazon KDP, which provides self publishers with a wonderful opportunity to sell their books. But this one error, by allowing for uh, people to provide returns, cost me a significant amount of money. So when you are loading up a book, you can choose to either allow returns to occur or for not returns to occur. So what I'm going to do is show you where that occurs and also the way you can ensure that you don't make that same error. So let's go to my reports page now to look at that return cost to me and then how you can actually change that to ensure that that doesn't happen to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into my account, which I'll do right now. What I'll now do is go to the new reports just to show you some of the income that I've been receiving because Ingram Spark is a fantastic way to generate additional passive income from the books you create. As mentioned, I've got a full course on how to create um, and load up your books to Ingram Spark. Just check out the link below in the description to go to that. And that's available on Udemy and Skillshare and also on my Thinkific site. So let's go to reports. And then what we're going to do is go to the next tab. We click on compensation. And then what we're going to do is go customize report and let's go summary. And we're going to do set to last calendar year. So that's, we'll do, uh, actually we'll go to January 1, 2022 to December 30. And we're going to do all locations and go done. And then that will bring up the total compensation uh, that I've been receiving over the past 12 months. So as you can see, it's a it's in Australian dollars, so maybe it's about seventeen thousand, seventeen and a half thousand US dollars for the last calendar year. So it's a good amount of passive income that you can earn from using Ingram Spark along with the other platforms like Amazon KDP. So that's a great way of doing it. And you can also ensure that you can continue to earn a passive income by um, further adding books to Ingram Spark. Now in the course, I go through a lot of different reasons of why some books are suitable and why some aren't. I've got approximately 80 books on Ingram Spark now that are helping to generate this amount of revenue. Anyway, let's go to the whole reason I've created this video and the return of books that I had for December 2022. So what I'm going to do now is go to Print Sales Report under the old Classic Reports tab, and I'm going to do from December 1st until December 31st. So we pick up that range. We're going to go US, US dollar, and we're going to click on print on demand, and we're going to do screen display. Then what I'm going to do is scroll down to the book that I'm referring to that 
um, caused all the issues. And this is the return. So the book was priced at $7.99. I had it at 55% wholesale discount. Now, as you can see, I've actually reduced some of my books now to 30% uh, in the US as a wholesale discount. And I'm still finding that I'm getting uh, good sales from those. But for some reason, I'd left this one at 55%. Now, someone has done a bulk purchase of 231 copies and sorry, 200, yeah, 230 have been returned. Therefore, it has cost me $829.98. And that is a costly problem to have. So how did this occur? Well, let me show you how you can go and edit this so it doesn't occur again. So what you need to do is enter the ISBN. You get options to choose the title or ISBN and then the book comes up, you need to go to this arrow just here and choose Edit Title. Then what you need to do is go to Print Information, and then you scroll down to where it says the return. Now, previously, I had Yes Destroy. So if you go to, I've changed it to No, but if you go to Edit, and I understand, what you need to do is change it. So I'm going to change this now to 30% because it's going to be more of an online book order that I want. We're going to change this to 30, 35, sorry, 35. 30 is a minimum, or sorry, maximum in the United States and 35 is the United Kingdom. And we're going to go to 35 here as well. And I've got no as return because you have the options of yes, deliver, which means the books would be delivered to you if someone wants to return them and you have to destroy them or yes, destroy. So they get returned to Ingram Spark and they destroy them on your behalf. But you, like I have, had to pay the whole amount. So that's what you need to do. And you can also change these, which I'm going to do as well. Change them to 35% wholesale discount. In my course, I go through the whole reason about which option to choose for your wholesale discount. I'm choosing 35%, and then I'm going to save that. So now, the currently, it's got Yes Destroy, but from 6th of January, I then have no returns, and I've got my discount set, my wholesale discount. Therefore, if I have an order, then it can't be returned. And that return may have been not necessarily because I didn't like the book, but because it could have had a printing error. There could have been a fold in some of the pages or a line on the cover. And that was to no fault of my own. But because they might have been printed incorrectly, they've all been returned and I've had to pay for that. So that was a costly error and an error with, that I want you to avoid if you are using Ingram Spark. So just make sure you take that in consideration when you're doing it and also uh, set your discounts to where you think they should be. So as I mentioned, you can set your discount, wholesale discount in the US to as low as 30%. Every other uh, area, you need to do it above 35, so 35 plus up to 55% wholesale discount. Uh, and then you've got your retail pricing uh, accordingly. So there you have it. That was the reason why I made that costly mistake and how you can avoid it if you don't want to allow returns in the future if you're publishing with Ingram Spark. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Yes, it did cost me a lot of money. Hopefully it will save me a lot of money in the future and it will save you money as well by uh, choosing whether you elect to allow for returns to occur or to not allow them to occur. Now that's a personal choice because you may choose that you want your books maybe to have a bulk order through bookstores. And by not allowing returns to occur, you could limit your opportunities for that to happen. But it's a risk versus a reward scenario. I've had bulk orders of over 250 books that have successfully gone through with no issues at all over the last couple of years. But this one book um, that caused an error, uh, there might have been a printing error as I've explained in the video, but it is, it's happened. And so I've had to um, uh, pay for that out of my royalty payments. So uh, if you are still keen on 
publishing with Amazon KDP. I've got a full course on Ingram Spark. If you want to do that, then make sure you check out the links below and that will guide you through to the different content that I do have, including all the videos that I have on YouTube. So thanks very much for watching. I'm grateful that you watch this video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.